Hello and welcome back to Final Action Plays Dark Souls Remastered. We've just made our way into... wait for it... wait... <laughs> actually wait to not fall to your death. This is... is it just the Abyss? Or does it have like a fancy different name? Chasm of the Abyss, I knew it, okay. There is a, a whole new world down here, which... He's gonna lead us into a trap, isn't he? Nope. Cool. Uh, we will explore it later on. Because it's hell to get through. And we've, uh, we've missed some things beforehand, which might be quite interesting to us. So, let's just back up a bit. Go to... Elysium, uh, Ulysseo Township. And walk on some branching paths. Because there's quite a few. Quite a few indeed. Of course, we have to deal with these guys again. I actually don't know if it's quite a few. There might be just one or two, but hey, you know. This time it's actually worth it, it's not just some silly items that I'm not even going to need. It's past the elevator. Go down all the way. Past the Mimic elevator. And then you'll see some cool things that I actually already teased uh, two episodes ago, but I forgot that I needed a key to actually get to that. Ooh, bloathead! Need a key to get to that area. Let's see what it says. If the sorcerer is gonna wait for me. The head of an Ulysseal resident whose humanity went wild after being devoured by the Dark of Manus, Father of the Abyss. The bloated head is fissured, the cracks lined with innumerable red eyeballs, tiny red eyeballs, with a heart outside and mucus filled inside. No sane person could ever wear it. Sounds like a challenge to me. They like these uh, silly little things, you know. You must be insane now. By the way, I hope I don't trigger anybody's... I forgot the name of it, but there's a specific phobia that that uh, has to do with the fact that you dislike seeing things with lots of holes in them. And it's been known to actually get triggered by these images and by people talking about them, so I'll just stop. But know that... Uh, it's happened to me too. So yeah, there's items over there already. Actually, aha! Okay, I thought the path was branching further on, but it's already where we need to be. Don't want to fall off, thank you. Just want to follow down the brown brick road so we drop down here and we don't go there just yet because there is didn't jump <laughs> so let's try this again Gravity, as always, is the hardest boss to deal with. Does that count? It does. Great. Uh, and that puts us back to where we were, except we don't want to be here, right? Oh, me yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we just go back around again. There we 
we go. Do we want this item right away? Maybe that's the only way of getting it. Okay. It's just a soul. <laughs> Goody. Uh, is this where we were? We we're one further down. Well, maybe we'll see some new stuff here. <laughs> Almost thought I was... I was gone again. It worked! I'm sorry! <laughs> oh god. No! <laughs> now I'm genuinely sorry. Alright. This is what it sounds like. I'm sorry. Truly. <laughs> Let's continue and hopefully don't get murdered too badly. Because I feel that's... I do remember there's like a really awful room with two sorceresses in there. Might be this one. Yes! Fuck. I had to play it by ear. Fuck me. Okay. Die! I'm so lucky. It shouldn't hit me? Okay. Wow. Nice, okay. Of course I I do well in this room, but then I I just <laughs> I just roll myself off a cliff for no goddamn reason, because I heard that there's a sorceress. Uh, what did I pick up <laughs> just now? <laughs> I'm so flustered. Uh, it was uh, another dark sorcery. Because Ulusil is the land of very odd sorceries indeed. Dark Orb. Abyss sorcery discovered by an Ulusil sorcerer on the blink of, uh, blink of madness? <laughs> Brink of madness. Fire giant Dark Orb. In contrast to standard soul sorceries, abyss sorceries are weighty and inflict physical damage. Perhaps human souls, because of their humanity, produce sorceries with more tangible presence. I don't know if it's been this way in this game already, but in Dark Souls 2, when you use those dark sorceries, they would actually deduct from your uh, souls count, which I found quite interesting. It might be in this one too, I don't know. Yeah, this is where we came from. The other sorcerers above us or something? The one that gave us the I'm sorry. It's a little hard to navigate in here. Out here, whatever. And everything is just oozing with dark. Looks like a pus. A pus of man, if you will. It's for my Dark Souls 3 peeps. Where am I going? <laughs> Maybe I needed to go onto that uh, upper platform. And, uh... The Titanite Lizard is sort of... Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, I, I remember. The Titanite Lizard is a, is a distraction for this. Let there be light. It actually has a custom sound effect, too. Uh, for this, we're gonna use... If I have it with me... I don't have it with me! Damn it. Well, it's gonna have to wait. And there's my souls. It genuinely has to wait, because I don't have the item equipped. That's a little nasty, but it says let there be light. You can sort of figure what you're supposed to do. Uh, I can go back over there. What do you know? So the way to jump... Hmm. I'll figure it out once I'm back on the Titanite Lizard roof. 
let's try and not fall. There you go. Because that's how I figured it out, wasn't it? Yeah, like this, and then... Wait. Wasn't there... I'm sorry, you guys. I thought there was a way to jump down onto the other wooden platform. Maybe you have to go back up one more. Oh, God. I mean, that one hidden illusory wall, that's basically the main prize. And I don't know what else is here. I guess you have to go all the way back up again. Because all I can see here are dead ends. Oh, it's this. Yeah, now I remember. We killed this guy and then we realized, hey. Yeah, th there it is. That's where we jumped down to. Let's uh, give it a shot. Again, <laughs> inhale sharply. That's where we died. Wait a second. That's just that room again. How did we miss this? Okay, never mind. Uh, no platforming necessary. I guess that's just it then. Because there's nothing else here. But we're not done yet. Uh, we have to go further down into... Uh, into the township. That's not the right way. Because there's some more stuff up there that we missed. And that's the other main prize. The key that I was talking about. There's just going to be... An errand episode, I guess. As we go back to the main path. So, uh... Maybe let's talk about the Four Knights of Gwyn. A little bit. We've met... Uh, first we met, uh... Ornstein. The Knight of the Wolf. And there's three more. Then we've met... Artorius. Did I say wolf at first? The Knight of the Lion is Ornstein. And then um, Artorius was, of course, Knight of the Wolf. Because he has a pet wolf that's very cute that we murdered. <laughs> but then there's also... Maybe I should have gone the other way. I don't know. Because now I have to deal with all these guys again. Maybe. Drop down. Come on. I know you want to. But there's two more knights that we haven't talked about. Actually, I could have picked up the hornet... No. The, the hawk ring. And I forgot to pick it up, actually. I want to go up there. How do I get up this way? Um, we could have picked up the hawk ring that was uh, actually sort of hidden behind the giant blacksmith in Anno Londo, in a chest there. Common misconception is that you have to kill the uh, giant blacksmith to get it to it. That's not the case. You uh, can sort of squeeze by and that's pretty much it. How do we get up there? For Christ's sake. Maybe we have to go up from the outside into the rafters um, and the hawk 
night we actually going to meet very soon. I don't think there's a way. Should have done this before unlocking the shortcut. If I'm missing a ladder, ladder I'm so sorry. So... Yeah, these guys are all still here. Man! There has to be another way. I know for a fact somebody can go up to those rafters without dealing with that situation downstairs. I can't figure it out. There's no loser wall here, is there? I'd be peeved. God. Let me look it up. Um, I'm done. Guessing. <laughs> See you in a bit. Alrighty then. I looked it up. It's both not quite as I thought it was, but also not as hard as it could be. So just ran, run in here. And I guess you can do this without tricking anybody. How nice. You go up here. I just completely missed that path. This is how you get up to the rafters. Although... That item that you have to cut down, unfortunately, you can only get... When... When the area is safe or if you don't mind dying to get it. Oh crap! You miserable jerk. I've never seen this fly, uh, this um, flailing stuff that he does. What's so goddamn funny, huh? <laughs> I do have to ask. Yeah. There's not. <laughs> There's nothing quite so funny as to merit this kind of. Yeah, that's what I thought. I guess it's also meant for you to want to kill him in order to get to this point, because this is quite an important chest, if I do say so myself. Just want to see if mimics are resistant to magic. Doesn't appear that way. And here we get the crest key. Let's see what it tells me, even though I know what it is, what it does. Bend crest key, the grooves of the crest are enchanted, the door is sealed with a powerful spell. Guess you have to figure it out for yourself, but if you've been where I've been and you've gone where I purposefully uh, walked past, you'd know there's only one locked uh, door that you've seen so far. I've been here and uh, okay. Oh yeah. This is where you cut down the- oh, hello. Maybe she's cut it down herself? Huh. Yeah, that, that's what must have happened, honestly. Uh, and uh, since we're done here, I think we can just go back from where we came and finish up this sucker with a very nice treat, I assure you. Uh, who first? Hello, Karen. You. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? That's a mask, actually. She... When I, when I first saw her, I thought it was a trap. <laughs> I thought, you know, due to the fact that she has spiked gloves and thin, uh, pointy nails, I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. 
And I also wanted the soul for the special weapon you can craft, but yeah, Karen, you can you can have it. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. Hey. May the Lord guide thee. Some of the best weapons in the game. For, you know, what their purpose is. May the Lord guide thee. The other thing is also that she's really, really condescending and assholish when you refuse her. But yeah, uh, this is but the beginning of a much bigger grave that I'm assuming Kieran is tending later on. And you do see her grave actually, or some, some things she left behind that pretty much tells you that she's died, died in there. Uh, at the grave of Artorias in Darkroot Garden, if you go there with this knowledge. <laughs> okay, and now for the main attraction. Kieran, by the way, is another knight of Gwyn. She is the one with the Hornet ring. So she's, she, I guess she would be the Hornet knight. Familiar sounds. Hello! <laughs> Please meet the one, the only Hawkeye Go. Mm, a visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am. Retired, That's what I try to do, right? I'm blind. A little help to me, I'm afraid. He is uh, a lot of people's favorite NPC, and I can definitely see why. If I seek it to explore this domain, be wary of a black dragon. Oh, we've seen I it. fear thee no match for this terrible beast. Well, give me some credit. <laughs> There's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Me, there's one hair left. Me, there's very what good, but I'm lucky. Thought you said more. Anyway, he is the guy who made all these wood carvings. Head carved by arch trees of tr arch trees by Go in his imprisonment. Go imparts an emotion to each and every completed carving, which helps him achieve personal enlightenment. When a head is disturbed, it speaks, reflecting the emotion conferred to it. This head says, hello. Have another look. Do you sense the amicability in its eyes? And thank you. And I'm sorry. And, uh, well, what's the word one? The, the last one, well done. Very good. Very good. He also sells some upgrade materials and of course Go's Great Arrows. Great arrow used by Hawkeye Go, one of Lord Gwyn's four knights for dragon slaying, requires great bow. Go personally crafts each t stone tip and wraps the shaft tightly with tree bark. Farewell, human. Lead thy life as thou seest fit. And I extend that same greeting to you, dear viewers. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you guys next time.